clash between Kuala Lumpur and Pera at the stadium Bola Sepa Kuala Lumpur and Chiras. This fixture is uh, better, um, especially with what they what they did last season. It's this season just does not show that they went to the Malaysia Cup final. They finished second last season, so you know they've they've got a lot to do here. meetings between both sides Perak have won every single one of their matches against Kuala Lumpur but Kuala Lumpur come into this game uh, on the back first clean sheet against PJ City um, you know very important for them uh, they've been conceding way too many I think it's uh, now 19 you goals see here's the starting 11 um, for Kuala Lumpur before we talk about Pera um, here are the 11 players that Chong Yu Paris picked who is the one that will catch your eye tonight well, definitely. Uh, we all say uh, Guillaume de Pola. Uh, playing after missing out against Pahang last time around. Um, he has caught six in his last seven matches against Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, um, Kuala Lumpur will know all about him. Uh, they'll probably have a look at uh, a few games before this. Uh, how has he performed? Um, he hasn't really. Carol Anwar, Kenny, Paul Raj, Partiburn. And here we have it. It's kickoff in the Liga Super Malaysia clash between Kuala Lumpur and Pera. It's been a cagey start to the game here in Chiras. Both sides obviously having a lot on the plate. This is Nur Hakim. Bit of a cheeky ball trying to find Gilmar, but... Oh my word! How has that gone in? It's 1-0 to Pera. Disastrous defending from Kuala Lumpur. There seemed to be a bit of a miscommunication with the defenders. Yeah, and... Uh, just right here, hits the back of Erfan Zakaria. Don't An know opportunity what. Opportunity to add to that at this point. Nazirul Naim crosses into the box. Trying to find Gilmar, who hits it slightly above the bar. Paulo Josue, this time around, trying to find a Kuala Lumpur head, and that's exactly what he does. Indra Putra Mayudin. Levels the score for Kuala Lumpur. Defending error from Kuala Lumpur gave Pera the lead, and it's a goalkeeping error from Pera that has allowed Kuala Lumpur to restore parity. Yeah, I think uh, Hafizal just takes too long with the decision. The changes for injury. Uh, we did see Duffery earlier had a bit of a knock, but he came off walking fine. Crosses into the box, Di Paula hits the post. My word. You know, lucky enough, just a pair out player in front of him. Sharil Fikri trying to find Gilmar. That's a penalty for Pera. And Zaiful Hakim has been handed his second blow of the match. And this is a great ball in. We can see there. Leandro! 2-1 to Pera. Kuala Lumpur are in the back seat once again. Well, as soon as the goalkeeper goes the wrong way, Leandro knows it's in. All he has to do is keep it on target and keep on target he did. Spin of Nurakim. He's up against Hafiz Johar Nurakim. Almost found Leandro. Still with Pera, Amirul Azan. Brandon Gunn is demanding outside the box. Crosses into the box. Gilmar! Slightly wide off target from Gilmar. Ariel Fikri, excellent work rate. But Ashri Chuchu now has a bit of space on the left. Ashri Chuchu tries his luck. Goal from Zaiful Hakim. And another penalty kick from Leandro. And De Paula is now brought down inside the box. And the referee points to the spot. It's a penalty kick for Kuala Lumpur. I feel the tension. Guillaume De Paula! 2-2 two, two here in Chiras. That's his second Liga Super goal of the season. Fifth goal in all competitions. The Brazilian hitman is back.
Yeah, you're always uh, knowing that when DM has the ball in the penalty box, penalty kick. Irfan Zakaria, all of them are inside the box. Decent ball from Josue this time around. Hafiz Olakim punches it. But Hafiz Joha! Fire. Azmi Muslim almost making a mess of that. It's still Azmi Muslim. Sharil Fikri has also been brought down. Getting into an altercation with Luke Woodland. Tempers are flaring here in Chiras. And it all started from that bit of a miss. And Luke Woodland has been shown a straight red. Cuts it back towards Sharil Fikri. Gets the better of Paulo Josue. Sharil Fikri! That, um, I think the main focus is uh, defending. Uh, they'll probably hold back a bit more, go on the counter attack, maybe try take advantage of free kicks, set pieces like this. Now Nazirul Naim has been shown a red card. It's a second yellow. What a game. What a game. We see. It just gets better. Paulo Josue crosses into the box. And Paulo Josue scores. 3-2 for Kuala Lumpur. And this is uh, what I was saying about Paulo. He hits the ball so well, gets it up and down, dips just in front of the goalkeeper, puts the ball between the goalkeeper and defender. Without a touch, goes straight for goal. And just looking at it here, ball goes. That was Narakim. Back to it. Sharul Sa'ad. Narakim again. Rafi Udin. Another ball to the box. Gilma! And somehow it goes into the back of the net. Nor Hakim Hassan levels the score for Perak. It's 3 all here in Chiras. It was a good ball from um, Paolo in the first place. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Uh, okay. No. <laughs> Sharul Saad, blocked by the wall, still in play, Rafi Udin. Azmi Muslim intercepts. And there you have it, the referee has blown the final whistle to what has been an absolutely dramatic encounter here at the stadium. Bola Sepa, Kuala Lumpur, in Charas. It's been frantic, it's been high.